So if you're a fan of the MCU, then you know that the New Mutants movie is actually gonna get made even after Disney bought Fox. But I bet there are a few people out there who are wondering who exactly are the New Mutants and what mutants are making up that team? Well, honestly, there's a few of them, but the one we're gonna be talking about today is Robert DaCosta, AKA Sunspot. If you've followed Fox's history with the other X-Men movies, then you know that this isn't exactly Sunspot's first time showing up on the big screen, because technically, he did show up in X-Men Days of Future Past. He didn't exactly have the most prominent role, though. In the movies, he's part of the Free Mutants, a mutant resistance group put together by Bishop to stop the Sentinels from eradicating the mutant race. Your typical day-to-day -day stuff. So they put up a good fight, they do some cool mutant fighting against the Sentinels, even when they have to go back in time, make sure that doesn't happen, and then they do it again at the end of the movie. It's awesome, it's badass, they showed off a lot of mutants that we didn't think we were gonna get, like Sunspot, Warpath, Bishop, and we even got to see Blink. But then, they were able to use Wolverine to successfully go back in time and change the past so that the Sentinel Wars never happened, and now there's a new timeline, and timelines pretty much mean nothing at this point because of Dark Phoenix and Disney buying Fox. So, where does that leave Sunspot? I have no idea. So the best thing that I can do for you guys is tell you who Sunspot is and why he's so badass in the comics. Sunspot's mutation allows him to absorb and channel solar energy. And using that solar energy, he's able to get super strength, he's able to fly, he's able to project energy blasts. And from the time that he showed up in the New Mutants, even up until now, Sunspot has only gotten stronger. But like a lot of mutants, Sunspot doesn't realize that he has these powers until he's in a high stress situation. For him, it was after he was assaulted by a racist soccer player during his high school's championship game. He gets angry at this guy for attacking him, and then next thing you know, boom, he's using his super strength and his entire body is covered black. Obviously everyone's scared of what's going on, so all of the players and most of the audience just ditch him there. But surprisingly, his girlfriend stands right by him. When Professor X finds out that Sunspot manifested his mutation, he sends some of his young mutants to save him from the Hellfire Club. After meeting with Professor X and going through some bonding moments, he decides to stay with him and he forms the New Mutants. But here's the thing, it's kind of hard to introduce new mutant characters and expect them to compete with the big dogs. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Iceman, right? So it takes a long time, but Sunspot actually manages to break out of the role of just another X-Men character. And this happens during the Avengers vs. X-Men arc. Both Sunspot and Cannonball are asked to join the Avengers, which given everything that's happening is a really good PR move. While Sunspot is on the Avengers, he actually takes his superhero game way farther than he's ever tried before, and it sets him up to help with the oncoming incursion that threatened to wipe out the multiverse. If you don't know what that is, I'm talking about the build-up to Secret Wars. Sunspot ends up taking over his father's company because it turns out that his father is a billionaire, and with his newfound wealth, he actually purchases AIM, and he uses it to be a force for good in the world, turning them into the Avengers' idea mechanics. Honestly, they introduced an entire side to this character that had never been explored before. Robert DaCosta doesn't just run the company, this man does huge things. He's actually helping so much in the world, he's fighting the incursion while the Avengers are fighting each other, and he actually gets the attention of the Maker, the Ultimate Universe version of Reed Richards. And even though we all know that Reed Richards is an incredibly brilliant mind, no matter what Earth he comes from, Sunspot actually manages to outsmart this guy, making him think that he lost his mutant abilities, when actually they've been overcharged and are pretty much dangerous to his body, and is able to stop the Maker in one of his twisted, I know what's right for the universe plans. Sunspot's an amazing character. The guy's smart, the guy has depth, the guy has character development that you honestly don't see in a lot of people because X-Men comics constantly keep getting shut down, and he even sacrifices himself in War of the Realms to save his friends. Sunspot is an epic hero. Sunspot deserves so much respect, and it is awesome to see him showing up in the New Mutants movie. I pray to God it's good. But let me know what you guys think about Sunspot, and let me know if you think that New Mutants movie is going to be any good.